Welcome to Judica County. I'm your host, Taylor Scruggs, and I'm here with Cassandra Nicholas, and we are both attorneys with Whitaker & Hamer, your law firm for life, with offices across the state of North Carolina. Today we want to touch on a particular topic in a state um, and kind of fill that out a bit more. Um, so we get a lot of questions about it being an executor and what that means. Um, so Cassandra, I know you work in estates primarily. So let's just start off with what is an executor? So a lot of people that call into our office are kind of unfamiliar with the estate's process and they've heard the word executor but don't really know what it entails. Right. An executor is one type of personal representative for one type of estate that can be opened with the clerk of courts. Uh, and you are named an executor in someone's will. Okay. So you can only become an executor if there was a will that named you executor. Um, so what's another type of personal representative for when there's not a will? I know we get a lot of those too, as well. So when you're opening an, a full estate without a will, the personal representative is called an administrator. And they serve essentially the same role, except rather than following the wishes of the decedent per their will, you follow the statutes of intestacy to decide uh, which debts to pay off first and then how the decedent's assets should be distributed. So whether you're an admi administrator or an executor, what are, what's your role, like what are your duties? So the primary duties are to uh, make sure that you've collected all of the decedent's assets, you know what they have and what they owe, and then you need to determine which of those debts need to be paid off. And there's a statute for that, like everything else. Uh, then once all of the debts are paid, you will distribute to the heirs what's left. So when there's a will, that's always nice because then you know that you're following the decedent's wishes, that the, the son gets the baseball cap and the daughter gets the coin collection. Whereas those decisions um, are a little bit harder without a will, and then money is split however the will says or however the statute says. And you've talked about statutes a lot, so would you say that's one of the primary reasons you should have an attorney help you on this? Um, maybe what's another one? So the statutes are, it's, it's a full chapter uh, regarding just wills, and it is rather complicated. So. Uh, it, this may be self-serving, but as an attorney, I do recommend you get an attorney at, at multiple points. It's very helpful to get an attorney while someone is still living to deal with all this estate planning proactively to make sure that uh, there's a will in place and anything else necessary so that you could potentially avoid the probate process entirely. Um, but if that was not the case and someone has passed, please reach out to me and I can help you through this complicated estate administration process. And it certainly is complicated because I don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we thank you for giving us that advice. Um, we thank you for joining us on this episode of Judica County. If you're finding yourself in need of legal assistance within a state probate law or any type of area, give us a call at 919-772-7000 or reach out to us on our website, wh.lawyer. Again, we are Whitaker & Hamer, your law firm for life.